Chung Combs will be back in court in just about two hours from now. I see his lawyers make their fourth plea to a judge to release him on bail. And that comes days after a judge ordered prosecutors not to use notes taken from Combs' jail cell during a raid in the Brooklyn jail where he's being held. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate. Good afternoon. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs will head inside of a lower Manhattan courtroom in just hours. Go before a judge and try to get out of jail on bail. This as he faces a slew of charges that's left him sitting in a Brooklyn jail. Combs' legal woes are extensive with racketeering, sex trafficking by force, and transportation to engage in prostitution and a sweeping indictment unsealed in September. Diddy was in court earlier this week when prosecutors had obtained several pages of Combs' handwritten notes from a raid carried out at the Metropolitan Detention Center. A win for Combs, as the judge has already said he would not consider those notes when weighing bail arguments after the defense raised questions about attorney-client privilege. Also on today's agenda, the video that shocked the world. Diddy violently assaulting then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in 2016, which also became evidence of the danger the rap mogul posed to women if released on bail. That was according to prosecutors. In a new court filing Thursday, Sean Combs' defense attorneys say prosecutors, quote, invented that narrative using an edited, manipulated version of the video, arguing it shows nothing more than a domestic dispute. What the prosecution is laying out are attempts by Diddy to do things under the radar, to reach out and communicate with witnesses. So this obviously is to great detriment when it comes to his argument for bail. And this time they'll be offering that $50 million bail package along with him wearing an ankle bracelet with home monitoring. Now he has made attempts to get out on bail, but has been denied each time. We're in Lower Manhattan. I'm Bill Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.